Hello everyone. Welcome to Carolina Girl Reese. Teresa here. Hey y'all. I miss y'all. I've not been on here since Thursday. I've been sick. Of course, those of you that commented and know that I was in the last video, yeah, I finally had to go to the doctor. And I can't just sit still. I, I feel much better because of my steroids. Which they make you hungry and make you grouchy and don't. but they also gave me some medicine for my cough and my cough is just not getting no better. I mean, thank God y'all can't get it over on the end of the camera, but I can't just sit back, I can't rest. So I wanted to do a video today, and I just want to thank you all for those that didn't mention me in my last video, which is praying for me and thinking of me because the older I get. It just seems like it's hard for me to fight off anything. And I didn't have COVID, I was tested for it, thank goodness, but they said here in North Carolina, we got a new strain going around, so whatever that is, but I'm here today. I love you guys. I'm gonna try to be my self, cause I wanna be. But welcome back everyone, my subscribers, my friends, buddies, y'all, newbies. Welcome if you stopped on my channel today. Please come back. I may have videos you like. Um, and if you do, I would appreciate it so much if you just share my videos, like them, and maybe subscribe. And I do have one thing I want to say. I have a monthly giveaway. And, and guys, everybody, my faithful ones too, and everybody listening, I know you get tired of hearing me, but I'm just going to say it today. <laughs> it's September now, and the September drawing box is already. I've already had people doing exactly what I asked. Thank you. And all that simply is to let me know that you would like to be entered in my September giveaway. You've got to say that in the comments, and that way I can know how to get to you. So I thank you for doing that, and the drawing will be for September 30th this time. Well, last of the month. But this time I'm going three choice prize, okay, or giveaway. It'll be a $30 gift card for... Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, or Amazon, okay? And I'm sure that should get a little something nice for someone, okay? And I just want to shout out to um, Juanita, my, last, my winner of August, three draw. Her package is on her way. She came through, so I hope you enjoy your fall box, Juanita. And I appreciate you again so much, everybody I do. And get this smash out of the way um if i do start coughing i'm sorry just bear with me okay to get through it because i want to do this so they got me on some kind of benefit five freight i don't know the word <laughs> but anyway it's not doing too good so i had to change medicine to my cough so just bear with me, please. And again, I thank you and welcome all. Okay? Happy Monday. And today, too, is 911. And I just know that we all never forgot. And as I was watching a little bit on the news this morning, I still can imagine what they went through. Some of those had to make a decision to jump for their lives or. But anyway, my heart goes out to anybody watching up north or someone that you knew or had family or so, anybody. I mean that. My heart's with you guys. Never forget. And that's why we try to keep on keeping on. And love and help as, as we can. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. You know me. You know me, guys. So today, I got just a few more Halloween things I want to do for my store, and I've gotten behind on it because my sales kind of pick up about now, thank God. But I've got a few more, and I will get all my Christmas ones. And if y'all can see behind me here, right quick, I did this last night when I couldn't sleep, so I'm starting my uh, Christmas bows to sell on my store. So. Anyhow, so today, I'm going to be making a creepy skeleton 
LED skeleton hands. <coughs> Craft wreath with double curls. Okay? So I started just a little piece of it. So here we go, guys. I'll tell you, anybody new, this is what you need. Of course, I've used my 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. I love these. They're just great as the good ones you buy. Of course, you have to fix them. But <coughs> so the Cruffle method, I'm using 18 inch, 18 pipe cleaners, 12 on the outside two rings, six on the inside two rings. And if you don't know how to place them, I do have a tutorial. Anybody knew how to place your cruffle, your pipe cleaners for your cruffle method. <coughs> okay. And this here, I found these at Dollar Tree, and I don't know about you guys, but we have a $5 and $3 aisle on there, and I'm per pretty sure y'all do. So I found these little skeleton heads, and I'm so pleased with them because I thought their eyes only lit up, but they all light up. So I think it's going to really make a sale on my store. I really hope it's a seller. So, you need to strand of them, LED lights, and you can get them there if you're interested in making this. <coughs> and I still had a lot of them. So, today I chose for my cruffles, I'm going with the, just the black and white, the silver touch of black and silver, <laughs> deco mesh, craft outlet. And then for my cruffles, I mean, curls. I'm going to do two curls, and I chose these two to go into it, the burgundy and some silver. Okay? And, of course, you'll need a couple of zip ties if you choose to put in LED lights, or you can make this without the lights. And then, you know, your 18 pipe cleaners. And then for my sign, I found this beautiful little sign, and I love it, Dollar Tree. And, look at him. He's, a, he's some fancy dude skeleton, isn't he? And he's got a little touch of burgundy in him. That's why I wanted to throw some burgundy in. Okay. And then, I'm going to, my ribbon, guys. For those of you that sell my Christmas ribbon, Matt bought, Santa brought me. Well, I mainly want to use that for my Christmas bows. But, you know, if you're a ribbon maker, you know this is true. You can't never have enough ribbon. So I'm having to kind of mix and match with some ribbons today. I don't have enough of each color. So we're going to see what we can do with this little silver spider web stuff. Some black and white stripe. A little burgundy and black. So somehow it'll come to you together. All right. So thank you for joining me. And, and, you know, if you get tired of watching me, it's okay. Just run me up. But I do love you all. Just, you know, pay no attention to me when I get like this, if you, if you just really know me. You know, it's just my heart, I can't help it. You know, being six makes me realize that, you know, I'm getting older, my birthday's this week, and, and then you start thinking things, I guess, and, but anyway, okay. Thank you all, and let's get this beautiful wreath made. Beautiful? Yeah. We're going to see. Okay. So, okay, for your cruffles, if nobody's ever made one, I'm just going to do a couple here, okay? Okay, here we go. And you're going to need, I chose one shade all the way for, my, for all my cruffles. And so, I've cut them all at 25 inches. And all you're simply going to do, curly side up. And roll one of your ends up here. I mean, y'all may know how I already do it or seen it, but give it a couple of twists, clip it down. Okay. Other side here, same way, but we're just not going to clip it. We're just going to simply take it and scratch it up, fingers and thumbs in the center, holding it as you, um, oh. Scratch it to yourself. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now 
Okay. Now, I did forget to show you one thing. It won't take, I'm just going to go back and show you. I'm sorry. So bear with me. Um, I did the first crepel because I wanted to see if it was going to work out right. And it is. just how I want it. So what I've done, guys, if you decide that you want to use these LED lights and find you a strand, all I did see the battery pack, two double A's. I'm not going to line them up for you yet, but they're really cool. They are bright. So I just took it with two of my biggest zip ties, 8 inch ones, or 6 of do, and I strapped it around on my first two end rings. Reason why, because when you want to cut it off with a little switch, you can get to it easy. And I double, double, hook, double zip tied it, okay, to make sure. So I didn't put my, my skeleton heads on first, because reason why, I'm going to come back and put each skeleton head on top of the ruffle. And that's why I'm going to leave my pipe cleaners open, okay? So when I make a cruffle, just leave your pipe cleaners stood up for, well, of course, your ribbons. But enough room for your, you know, just, you know, just don't cut your pipe cleaners off, okay? So do one more cruffle here. And as you make the cruffle, just leave your skeleton heads around. And probably see I've got my table all in a mess here. Got stuff everywhere. So, I probably sound a little silly too, but mm, where's my stuff? Okay. So, another couple, okay? And, two, three. I hope everybody's having a good day wherever you're at. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, y'all. I hope for y'all the weather's been relieved some, but we got some awesome rain the other night. I mean, it was a good little thunderstorm, which I like to hear. I like to hear the rain fall and thunder. And I'm, I'm glad it wasn't like, you know, bad, bad, but it was just a relief. <laughs> it was a relief. And I'm so thankful for that. So I hope everybody, wherever you're at, there's another crapple. That day's going good for you. Things are going your way. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so anybody new? Here's my three cruffles. We're going to go ahead and do them all the way around. I'll be back, guys. And we'll have the whole 18 cruffles on. And I really thank you for watching me today. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Here she is, all crumpled up. Okay, you can see him. And, uh, see how I've got the string of the seal the heads there? How sure they was attached. The reason why I've done this, instead of putting them on first, I want them to stand up on top of the little seal at the end, okay? So now we're ready for our curls. And if I didn't tell you, I'm sorry, you're, um, Cruffles are cut at 25 inches, 18. Okay, you only 18 all around, and your curl's gonna be at 10 inches. So I'm just gonna throw a couple curls in here for y'all. Okay, the burgundy and the silver. Okay, and I think we all know how to do a curl. <laughs> Roll it up here, and this, this is why I like my bow dabber, guys. I showed you before while I'm making my other curl and you don't have to do double it's totally up to you I place her in there while I put my other one I'm gonna put it on top of the other one like this and then I grab them out like that together that just helps me and you can actually put a hole on there at one time and you'll have them ready to pull out as you go if that helps you okay so I'm gonna start here and in the center, I always work center out. That's just the way I've always done it. And let's give them a twist. And remember, um, okay, leave your pipe cleaner. Got some for your ribbon when you get ready to put that in. See the strands here, clip them off. And I just go down at the bottom of my pipe cleaners and I push them at the end of the, because it makes your curls stand up. Okay, put a couple more in. 
trying to talk a little. I know, bro. Don't sound my usual self, but I'm just trying to keep my cough because when it starts, it starts. But it should be. I should be all together soon myself. Thanks to God and the doctors and. You know, you know, I'm so thankful for the doctors and the medicines and I don't see how people in the olden days, Bible, how they, you know, got, and I know today some people can't afford it. They're missing. I, it hurts me. And I tell you what, me personally talking, guys, and forgive me if I don't mean to come off like I don't, I think it's a sin that people, especially for anybody, can't afford to get some medication and what you got to go through to get it and, and especially you know, we're elders, and of course I'm getting there. And well, I am one almost. <laughs> but, you know, even anybody, I think God wants, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, okay, so let me do this curl and get the others in. I will say this about the doctor now, hush. I know the last ones that did watch my video, and I know a couple of my, the ones that on here, well, they always tell me when they laugh, and all, and it makes me feel so good because that makes me feel happy. But this time, guys, the doctor, I, they didn't forget me. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I said, Lord, please, just because I felt so bad today. I finally had to go the day after the after I done my video, and uh. That was last Thursday, and you know what, God, I mean, guys, I know, God, I was in there 10 to 12, and I was out by 12.45. Now, that's a miracle. <laughs> that's a miracle in the doctor's office, but anyway. So, there's three of our curls. Okay, we got going, and that looks maybe red on the camera, but it's a burgundy, but I'll be back. I'll get them all done. All righty. Okay, guys, so here she is with all her curls now. If I didn't tell you, you don't have to double curl, it's just if you want to. But if you do, you, you'll need 18 pairs. In other words, you'll need 18 colors, 18 pieces of each color. And my curls are 10 inches, okay? Let's see, I'm still holding on to the little skeleton lines, so we're going to get to them, okay? So now I'm going to do a few bows and then we'll put these on. Okay, so remember I told you that I had a few pieces here that I don't have enough of, so I'm probably just going to have to piece them and work with them, but you can do it. You can do it. It's a Halloween wreath. It'll be okay. So I'm going to work with this in my little spider print here. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm just trying to keep my voice a little usually loud, I know, but so I'm, if you, and anybody new, if you duck tail, fold it in half, down at the end again, in half. And I learned by cutting from the wired edge into the crease. Cut you a slant from the wired edge, wired edge facing you, and cut you a little slanted crease to the crease. Okay, so here we go here. Let's go place it together. And since I'm probably out of the ribbons I've chose, I can't really give you a count on what to use. But this is your wreath, so you choose what ribbons you want and how many. So I'm going to kind of do maybe every other one, okay? So I'm going to do a few, just start on a few, and then we'll be adding our skeleton lights. Next, skeleton head lights, <laughs> LED lights, okay? So, so get your ribbons in just like that. Spread them out. I like the colors black and burgundy. Does anybody else? Okay, now I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to go on to the next one. So, so I make sure I have enough of my ribbon. I really wonder how this is going to turn out too. Uh, my, my favorite one's Maze Maisie Honey. You one of them, honey, my math. I may have messed up here. No telling what I'm going to end up with in ribbons, but there again, like I said, it's a it's a Halloween wreath, so that's can skip it and go on to the next one. 
but I'm just gonna do these two and not hold too long for this so I can finish them up. And then we can get our skeleton heads in. Okay, so anybody new? Here's got our two, um, got our bows in right here, a couple of them. Okay. Okay, thanks for hanging with me, guys. I really mean it. Be right back. Okay, so I ended up with three, three sets of ribbon in the center, three pair, and six on the outer, um, six pair. So I only used a pair, a total of nine pair of ribbons on this wreath. So, okay, it worked out. It worked out. Okay, good. <laughs> it worked out. So now we're going to put these little skeleton heads in. I'm trying to trying to pep up a little bit, guys. I'm I'm all right. I'm all right. I am. I, I'm not I'm not sick. I just I'm getting better, thanks God, to the prednisone. But the cough the, the the cough that I've been having is just if you've ever had an ongoing cough. So I think that newest that cough that stuff they put me on is doing a whole lot better. So. So I'm just glad to be doing this for y'all and spending time with you, okay? I told my husband he came a while ago, he said, why aren't you laying down? I said, honey, I can't rest. I want to be doing something. Okay, so we're fixing to put the skeleton head in now. <clears throat> Remember how I left them hanging on? I had to work with him, pull them around as a work, but it's okay because I wanted to get, them, get the heads on top of the reef instead of inside it. So just go back to where, if you, if you want to make one of these, Go back to where you have your little packet put in. Okay, like I'm starting with the little packets put in here. If you can see, I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm going to take the first skeleton head where it's attached to. And I'm just going to bring it up. Bring it up here. And this, that's why I didn't cut my pipe cleaners. And you just want to take the little head, the end of it, on the wire gently so you won't mess up the bulb, the bulb part, or, and just take your pipe cleaner that you didn't cut off and twist your little head in there. Okay, just twist it in there. And I'm just going to do this, guys. I'll probably have to go back, go back and adjust it but first because I never made one like this. <laughs> Not like this one, putting them on top, but. Okay, so we're just going to adjust this little head in there to where I wanted to get in there and look like that. Can you see that? Let's see where this little head is on the... There it is. There he is. I've lost him. Right there. Here, here, here's the one I've been putting in. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, look at him. Wow. So that's how I wanted to go into my bows instead of down into my roof. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and work a rep all the way around there. And I did measure before I put them in, so I should have plenty of little heads. And if you're interested in getting a set of these, remember I told you they were Dollar Tree. And if you have, if yours has a $5 aisle, $3 aisle, I'm sure y'all do in big places. I'm glad we do. Ooh, I'm going to break them. <clears throat> So I'm just going to go around, and I'll come back and work. You can go back and work with hiding your wires, okay? Because when I get them, I'm just going to go back around, and I'm just going to keep attaching them to the inside of my pipe cleaners. At. So if you'll let me get that done, since I'll show you how to do that one, okay? Is that all righty? And I'll be right back with that. Okay. <coughs> Guys, I'm sorry I didn't do all that. For y'all line to show you but the key to it you just want to put your little skeleton heads if you go this route into your ribbon pipe cleaners or you know wherever you have your outer pipe cleaners and i'm trying to see if you can see the little heads on there it is a little time consuming see them right there they got them going around but the thing is you want to go back when you get them on and just make sure your wire your led wire is covered the best you can with your curls and your ribbon. So I know you probably can't, I can't tell on here by looking if you guys can see his little heads, but 
there is all done okay there is all done and so now um i'll put the sign on okay and it's ready and it's i just love it and i'll tell you what um dollar tree the three this was three dollars actually i just fell in love with it i don't know it's a portrait light so i've got him already and i've used my pipe cleaners Okay, you can use 20 inch pipe cleaners, which my dear friend Mama Buck told me about. Or you can put two together, but I found some long ones I used. So I've got them all on here, ready to go with my glue gun. We're just going to put them in. Okay. I'll place them somewhere in the center here. <coughs> and then I'm going to get them on board. Like I always do. Y'all yeah, know I have to work like that. <laughs> Just going the best you can. And I try to go between my ribbons in the center if you can, but. And remember, I only put three in mine um, out of my six pipe cleaners because I didn't have enough ribbon. But it's going to be all right. So I'm not going to try to turn him over because of the lights. So I just got him through here. And I feed my signs, guys, so the, I know many of you saw me do it before. I work around two pipe, um, two, two wreath rooms, because it just gets, seems to give it a little support more to me, or keeps, keeps it in better. And I don't want to mash him down in there, so let me just wrap him around here. Okay, and I'm going to go around here on the other side. Still see me? Sometimes I do get them in a little too tight. I really thank you guys for staying with me today. I'm, I guess I had to do something. I, so I think I've got the other side a little too tight around, but I'm going to fix that in just a second here. The key to your wreaths, to your signs, guys, and I know y'all know this, especially you pros, you don't want to mess your sign down into the wreath, so as long as it's secured, they're pretty good. Keys just kind of let it be sitting up on your wreath, not down in it. And when I used to first make them, I pressed mine down in there. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I'm gonna have to fix this and loosen him up a little bit. I haven't named this one in all, but I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> so, let's see, it loosened up some now. I'm not going to turn my lights on until I got them all done. And I'm thinking I'm going to actually add a big bow to this one because I want this to really sell good on my store. I, I just think bows add to wreaths sometimes. I love bows. But anyway, I won't put you through watching that, but I will have one on him. So let me go ahead here and show you what I've got of the side here and all. Okay, here he is. You like him? Everybody kind of like him a little bit? He's all decked out for a Halloween party. Okay, so listen, guys. I just thank you so much. Let me get him on the board here, and I'll show you how he looks there. And then we'll cut our light. Then we'll cut our lights on, okay? All righty. Be right back. Well, here she is, all. Or he, Mr. Mr. Skeletal. Himself. So what do you think of him, everyone? I decided to not go for a bow. I thought it might take away from the scale of the heads when they were lit up. So I think this is just perfect. Wouldn't it look pretty on a wall? Or like just think about it. If he has a castle, he's got his, he can hang his picture on the wall. <laughs> or, or dungeon, whatever he lives in. But but there it is, y'all. I, I wish I could have made a better video for you. I just wanted to share this with you here. I'm, I just... Thought it'd be pretty and all, and, and, I, and I miss y'all. I miss sharing my my tutorials with you and all. And just, but let me let me get the lights on, okay? Give me just a set. Let me turn the lights off here and show you. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this on the back here. I, I put the ring kit easy to it right there in the end. And then I'm gonna cut my lights off and we'll see what we got, okay? Give me just a sec. I'm gonna cut my desk light off. And here we go. Here's see what we got. Okay, 
Okay. So, I know it don't look too really good, like I'm seeing it. And then my window in the back of my room here got the curve shape, so I don't have a curtain on top of it. But, but look how full the skeleton, little skeleton heads. They all light. They like. They just light up. I thought the eyes just lit up, but they all light up. The whole head. So, and I added a little black sparkle tree branch to it. Now, if you can see that a little bit. I hope you can see that good enough, and it really is pretty in person, though. Okay, so there we go, and right. Oh, so guys, I do thank you today for watching this with me, and um, I love you all. <laughs> I do. Just acquaintances have made and friends have made. And I wanted to do this for you today. And I hope maybe some skeleton fan out there will not try to do this, you know. Just like I said, it's, it's really simple. You just want to get, once you get your head in, you know, hide your wires with your, um, the bows and the curls take care of that. So there you go. Mr. Skeleton Portrait himself. And I just want to say, this is Monday. I probably, I think I've got a short one I'd like to do tomorrow. I need to do something. I mean, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm just not, I'm getting better, okay? So everybody out there where you are, all of you, my friends, the faithful ones, you know, you know, newbies, you can be my friend too. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great afternoon wherever you are. I know our time zones are different sometimes too. It's about getting to be, I think it's like 5 here, o'clock a little bit after now. So, try to find me something to eat. I hadn't really eaten today, but I love you all. Okay? So, till next time. Alrighty. Bye-bye.